Hey, so in this uh, rather short video I'll show you how to use Password Kit Forensic to decrypt TrueCrypt containers. So uh, first we need to launch Password Kit Forensic, then we select full disk encryption and uh, TrueCrypt. And let's start with a sample where we have uh, memory image captured. So let's select a container, tell the software we actually have the memory image and launch the attack. So the software now scans this memory image and it builds a list of all the possible encryption keys found in this memory image. Uh, then it runs uh, each of those encryption keys found against the memory image. And it took us just uh, 11 seconds uh, to find the correct uh, encryption key in this memory image. So let's, let's verify uh, that we have this container undecrypted. So we open the file and we, we can clearly see some operating systems headers there. So we were able to decrypt this uh, TrueCrypt container in just a few seconds. Uh, but what happens when uh, there's no memory image available? Uh, then with uh, TrueCrypt it gets uh, rather complicated, I'd say. So uh, let's select a different uh, container there. And this time we don't have uh, memory image. But uh, if there's nothing known about the suspect's password, then just doing a brute force attack could be really very time consuming for TrueCrypt, as this is, well, rather secure uh, encryption uh, software. But if uh, if there is a good dictionary of uh, all the previous passwords uh, used by a suspect, or let's say a good dictionary and a fair amount of computational resources, uh, GPU equipped uh, workers, then we have rather good chances of finding the password. So I'm running this demo on my laptop. Clearly uh, there isn't uh, enough computational power there to tackle complicated cases. But uh, let's pretend that we know that uh, a suspect uses some kind of a pattern uh, to generate passwords, uh, like uh, a word followed by a year number. So uh, in this case, we can configure our software in a way uh, that it checks only certain passwords uh, that follow this pattern. So in this case, we'll need to check just uh, 100 passwords. Not really that much. Let's just launch the attack. Uh, so uh, because there, there weren't uh, too many passwords uh, to check. The software was capable of finding the password fairly quick. But uh, once again, this won't be the case uh, if uh, there is no information about the password. 